So today we're going to be wrapping up unit one from course four. We're going to be looking today at the application of all four of the things in this unit. So last week we focused on present simple. Remember with present simple, you have only one major change to your verb. And that's when you're talking about he, she, and it in general your verb stays the same. I am, you are, but for he, she, and it, it's is, all right? For other verbs, it's less complicated for the regular verbs. The verbs don't change at all, except for third person as well. You add a S, all right? So we're gonna be looking at those different things and how to use them. So we're going to start off with just a quick look at future simple. Remember, future simple is the use of the verb will. All right, so will do, will go, will be, will find. Future simple uses will. Now, why is it important that we look at will? Well, the two conditionals that we're going to be looking at today use a cause and then an effect. There is a condition and then there is a result, All right? So let's take a look at these conditionals. We're gonna start off with conditional zero. Remember that each condition has its clause, the main clause, and then the resulting clause. So let's start off with zero conditional. Let me let some more people in the room. And let's see, one more person. Good. All right, Liliana, read for me conditional zero. Yes. Yeah. Is zero conditional. The zero conditional is used when the condition and the results are always true, such as with scientific facts. For example, for example, if you heat water to 100, it boils. Exactly. Water. Whether words if you hit into one hundred <laughs> degrees Celsius, guys, remember Celsius. If I don't practice the piano every day, I play poorly. I play the piano poorly if I don't practice every day. Does your mom get mad if you don't call her? If you don't call your mom, does she get mad? Good, All right? So you notice it doesn't matter if you put the if clause or the condition first. You can also use when. It doesn't matter if you put the when or if clause first, the condition first, or if you put the result first. It doesn't matter. It means the same thing. And you need to only remember that you're using the present simple. So try to always conjugate your verb correctly. All right, let me just let some more people in. Good, good job. I see people putting, putting their, their names and groups in the chat. Thank you so much, All right? So let's start off with the zero conditional. Right, I'm going to share my screen again, and I want you to fill in the gap. All right, so try to remember if it's he, she, and it, you use your S endings. If it's I and you, it's singular. If it's we and they, it's plural. Those only change for irregular verbs, like the verb to be. But for most verbs, 
the verb doesn't change, right? So let's practice zero conditional, present simple condition and present simple result, right? Here we go. All right, and let's, I'm gonna use my list and let's start with Cassandra. Number one. Yes, teacher. If if mm, it's rain. If it rains, repeat. It's rains the street. Get in concrete. Get present simple. Notice okay. here, present simple in the result and the clause. Okay, teacher. Yes. One more time. If it rains, the streets get wet. Repeat. Again, Cassandra. If it rains, the streets get wet. Good. All right. Sylvia, number two. If it rains, that was the third person, and my mother would technically be she, so we'd also use third person here. So my mother gets angry when I, and for negative form, we are gonna use don't, and the verb stays the same. And I don't do my homework every day. Andrea Maya, number three. Yes. Uh, if you run, if you run, you get uh, really exhausted. Really exhausted. I don't forget the ED ending. Angel Eduardo, number four. Yes, teacher. Uh, I can't understand Elizabeth when she speaks so quickly. Good, perfect. All right, let's continue with Emma. Um, if Madeline miss all right it's a she so if madeline misses uh, okay uh the seven o'clock train she um, she i am you are he she it um she was no present present she <laughs> She be paid the, for work. What, how do you turn be into uh, the simple form for she is, I am, you are, he, she, it is, we are, and they are for the verb to be. All right, one more time. If Madeline misses the seven o'clock train, she is late for work. Repeat. She, uh, if Madeline misses the seven o'clock o'clock train she is late for work good 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 estrella number six when you mm -hmm. turn on it's just you so you don't need to change the verb when you turn on an electric uh applicant the electricity Mm -hmm. Metal um, goes up. Goes up. Good job. Goes up. Repeat. Goes up. All right. Ever number seven. Mm, uh, my little sister always cries mm -hmm. when she mm, is. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, hungry. Good job. All right. Jackie Hernandez, number eight. Yes, teacher. When you drink too much alcohol. You, you when drink. you drink. I drink, you drink, he, she, it drinks. So keep it simple. When you drink. Uh, mm -hmm. Too much alcohol, you sure get drunk. Get it. Thank you. All right. One more time. When you drink too much alcohol, you sure get drunk. It's dangerous. Repeat. When you drink too much alcohol, you sure get drunk. It's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. All right. Number nine. Hugo? Um, the mountains. Um, uh, get white when it snow. snows. Snows, right? It as it snows. It snows. All right. So the mountains get white when it snows. All right. Let's continue with Jennifer. If you don't drink. Mm -hmm. Enough water, you become the dirty right? All right. Don't change it if it's you. So don't drink enough water. You become dehydrated. Repeat. If you if you don't drink enough water, you become dehydrated. Yes. All right. Number eleven, Laura Jimena. Yes, sir. yeah, you gain weight if you eat too much sugar and fried food. And fried food. If you eat too much fried food, repeat. Uh, you gain weight if you eat too much sugar and fried food. All right. Let's continue with Liliana. Yes. When my mother has 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 a toothache, she tooth always ache. takes toothache. Toothache. She always takes an aspirin. Good. Lorenzo. Eduardo is Lorenzo. Um, if you mix us red you, and blue, if you mix, 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 if you mix red and blue, you get purple. You get purple. Good. All right. Sophie, Sophia Molina. Plants um, die. Mm -hmm. If they uh, don't get yes. enough water, repeat. Plants die if they don't get enough water. All right. Jackie Martinez. Jackie Martinez. I thought Zoom was easier for you guys. All right, let me see in the chat. So what's the answer? Type it in the chat as well. All right. If you it's you, not it, not he, not she. If you break, the only one that changes is irregular verbs and third person. Hurt, 
What happens? How do we change that one? Right, break. If you break a leg, you, not it, not she, not he, if you break a leg, it hurts. And it's very painful. Right? Just keep going. Monse. Morales, number 16. Mm -hmm. uh, when my friends tell me mm -hmm. an important secret, I never tell it to anyone. Good job. Right. Naomi Mendez. You get a substantial, is it pronunciation? Subst Substantial. Substantial? Fine, if you don't pay your taxes. Perfect. All right. Daniel Nava, 18. If you do not get enough vitamins and iron, you suffer from anemia. Good, all right. Let's be careful. It's vitamins. All right, so one more time. If you don't get enough vitamins and iron, you suffer from anemia. Repeat. If you do not get enough vitamins and iron, you suffer from anemia. Good job. All right, let's do some more from another page. Let me scroll down a little bit here. Miguel Angel, number four. Oh, okay. Muy, muy, muy. Mm -hmm. If children don't eat, will they? Um, it's not healthy. All right. Be careful. Children, if they don't eat well, yes, it's plural. Ah, they are not. But there you go. Healthy. Good job. So if they don't. Yeah. If they don't eat well, they are not healthy. All right. Good, good. Let's continue with Nancy. Yes, teacher. If you mix water and electricity, electricity. you get a shock. One more time. Electricity. Uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. You get a shock. Good. And you know Hernandez? Yes. If eat. If people eat. Too many sweets, they get fat. Good. All right. Right. I think someone just joined the room. So that's a quick little repeat. With the zero condition, it's present tense and present tense. The condition has a present tense and the result has a present tense. I think... Francisco, you just joined. Number seven, Francisco. ¿Ya me escucha? Yes, Francisco, go ahead. Number seven. If you smoke, mm -hmm. you get yellow fingers. Yes, indeed. Right? So that's the easy one. The condition is in the present simple, and the result is in the present simple. I don't remember. Sylvia, is your microphone working now? Sylvia Lisette Lopez. Okay, 
Still nothing. All right, Sylvia, do number eight in the chat. All right, tell us the answer for number eight in the chat. All right, and make sure, guys, that when you come into the room, your full names and groups are in the chat. I think everyone has done so. Good job. And Sylvia says, no, Sylvia, we can't hear you. Write your answer in the chat. All right, for number eight, All right? Children is in plural. They is plural. Your verbs are play and the negative form of get. What would the answer be, Sylvia? If children, ah, that's the past. We're using present tense. So if children play. Right. What is the result of that action? If they play, what happens? What happens to our second verb? They're not. Yes, but be careful with your spelling. They are not overweight or apostrophe instead of the A. All right, good. Now, guys, what if the condition happens now, but the result is in the future? That's when we'll use the future simple. All right, so now let's look at the first conditional. All right, Eduardo, read for us. Lorenzo? Uh, Lelia? Yes, please. Uh, we use the first conditional for expressing the future and, and in case when the condition is very likely to occur. Mm -hmm. For example? Examples. If Bill studies, he will pass the exam. Mm -hmm. Bill will pass the exam if he studies. If it does train, we will go to the beach. We will go to the beach if it does train. If it doesn't we, rain, one more time. If it doesn't rain, mm -hmm. will you take the rain, the train if you miss the bus? Mm -hmm. If you miss the bus, will you take the rain, the train? The train, good job, All right? And this is what we call future possibility, guys, All right? Now let's do some exercises from here as well. But before we do any exercises, you need to know one little thing. Notice, that with these, if you put the result first, you delete the comma. And you can also use other modal verbs. You don't always have to use will. Will is the most common, but you can use other modal verbs to express that future possibility. For example, you can use may, you can use should, you can use can, all right? Those are also possible with the first condition, All right? Let's do some examples, All right? I don't think I, I showed you guys um, any of the tools here in Zoom, but I assume that you know. Let's, let's use, let's see if it's here. Do you guys know how to raise your hands in Zoom? Like that. Let's get some hands. Who wants to try with the first conditional? All right, go ahead and raise your hands and I'll see you one by one. All right, Liliana, I see you. Go ahead. Yes. Um, if I don't go, mm -hmm. I will be tired tomorrow. Right. If I don't go to bed early, uh huh. I 
be tired I tomorrow. I will be tired tomorrow. One more time. I will be tired. I will be tired tomorrow. Good. Anyone else? I'm gonna give it a try. I see any more hands? So guys, you have to find the reactions button and then you raise your hand. All right, good. I see some more raised hands. Laura? Syria, if the weather non crop, we don't have a picnic. Exactly. If the weather doesn't, remember, it doesn't improve. One more time. If the weather doesn't improve, we doesn't have a picnic. In the future, we won't. Remember, this one is the future possibility. One more time. If the weather doesn't improve, we won't have a picnic. If the weather doesn't improve, we won't have a picnic. Good, good. All right. Danny Nava. If we eat all this cake, we will feel sick. Indeed. All right. All right, I see. I see Jenny. If you don't want to go out, I'll cook dinner at home. Exactly. Right. Anybody else? Let's look at some of the ones where the result comes first. Right. Let's get some more volunteers. Who wants to try one where the result comes first? Where the future possibility comes first? Oh, go ahead, Ugo. Um won't get mm -hmm. he won't get um better job if he mm, doesn't pass perfect the exam nice good job right two more volunteers who says me go ahead nancy Sorry, yeah. I will buy a new dress. I it will is, buy. Be careful with your pronunciation. Uh, I will buy. I will buy a new dress if I have enough money. Perfect. All right. And the last one goes to Yunye Hernandez. Yes. Uh, she will cook mm -hmm. dinner if you go to the supermarket. Good job. All right, guys, and that's what I want you to use in your podcast. Talk about your daily activities. For example, I wake up at 4 a.m. I do exercise every day. If I do exercise every day, I will be healthy, all right? I want you to be practicing all of these conditionals and make really good podcasts, all right? If you go to the supermarket all right i'll share these links um there'll be only one video so i'll share the video in all of the streams and we'll use zoom um, for all of our classes because there is no recording feature in meet for some reason all right so do enjoy your saturday see you next saturday stay safe make sure to finish up unit one before monday on monday we will start unit two okay have a good Saturday. See you next week.